we are going to learn how to make a door mat with the help of old cloths and bits and pieces of cloths the things needed for making a door mat are such as bits and pieces of cloth a needle tape a scissors and a marking chalk we need a bigger rectangular piece of cloth this i have taken it from a old blanket torn blanket and i made a small patchwork on it uh, you can choose any design you like and the size of the rectangle can also be of any size it can be a smaller size rectangle or it can be a bigger size rectangle i'll just open it now now i'm going to show how can we place all these bits and pieces of cloth into this rectangular piece bits of cloth now just we have to fold it like this we have to keep it like this so another bit of cloth which i am keeping it over in this cloth and this is a long piece of cloth we are going to fold it twice or thrice depending upon the thickness you need for the door mat in such a way we have to place it fully uh, up to a rectangular shape then we have to stitch all these bits and pieces of cloth the stitching can be done with the help of your hand or with the help of a machine i have already made one some bits and pieces and i have joined them i'll just show you now how these have joined see these are all lots and bits of pieces which have been joined like this almost 6 to 7 bits of pieces have been joined in each layer this is the first layer this is the second one all torn bits of old piece of cloth this is the third layer and all these three layers have been joined in the top uh, it will not be enough if you join only in one side we have to join this bits and pieces of cloth all these side three sides and we have to also stitch diagonally now we are going to see how to stitch all these three sides and how to stitch diagonally we are going to start sealing the all the three layers now we have to hold it tightly and carefully so that all the three layers are present i'll be doing the stitching in the same manner in the other two sides I have finished stitching both the sides diagonally. Now this rag is ready. This is the rectangular piece of cloth which we are going to keep at the top of the door mat. I have stitched in the three sides of the cloth and I have kept one side open. Now I am going to place this rag into this cloth. I'll just show you how to place this rag into this cloth. now we have finished placing this cloth into this bag now we are going to stitch this tightly in this corner and we are going to finish a door mat after making the diagonal stitching with the bits and pieces of cloth i have introduced this cloth into this old carpet bag and i have sealed all the four corners we have to also seal the center part such that this cloth does not move Thank you.